So next topic we're going to work on is being able to set up your defender to get open, to get clearance. More importantly, to get the ball in your hands to be an effective offensive basketball player. Um, again, everything about basketball is about being on balance, being efficient, and more importantly, having good court vision and awareness to time your cuts, receive the ball, and then be an effective basketball player. First thing we're going to do, we're going to start nice athletic position. A lot of coaches want you to take all of these extra steps to get open. Don't really like that because, come down, Kajol, please. When you're in a game, the guard's got the ball up there. I'm taking all of these steps. He's a physical guy. By the time I do all that, by the time I get the ball, I'm going to be ineffective. So what I like to teach is being able to use your body in legal position to be able to get somebody off balance. And then now, rather than step across my body to give Kajol a chance to chase me off of this screen, I want to be able to shorten this step and now get a hand clear. Now once you got a hand clear and you receive the ball, you can determine by how he's guarding me which way that you want to pivot to get yourself available to be an offensive threat. Right now with the way Kajo is guarding me, I'd want to use what's called an inside pivot so I could rip through and attack him going baseline. All right? If he was lower, I could front pivot, and now I've got to see him to the basket so I get to use my pivot as an offensive weapon. But the big thing, the most important thing is balance, not use your hands, keep your hands clear because you want to get the ball, and then more importantly, being able to be on balance and have good efficient footwork rather than having a lot of wasted movement to get open. So right now we're going to step, get open, catch, inside pivot, one dribble into a pull-up jump shot. All right, guys, here we go. Um, yeah, you can guard, yeah, you can guard him first. All right, here we go. He's getting open. Catch, rip through. Good job. And here we go. I got another one. Here we go, Ant. Here we go. Hard step, get clearance, receive the ball, rip through, pull-up jump shot. All right, here we go, same thing. Now, Kajol, we're going to front pivot. Here we go, same thing. Gets clearance, square up. Good job, nice shot. Here we go, Ant, same thing with you. Here we go, good. Good job, good square up, good shot. Okay, now, another thing. If a guy is trying to play you on the high side of your defense, okay, so he's really trying to jam you, now you do have to do what's called a swim move to be able to option or audible out of your offense. So right now he's playing me. He knows the screen is coming. He knows I'm a good offensive threat. So he's going to say, I got to jam his body and I got to get through the screen with him so he can't score. So right now, rather than take these three steps to the screen and then try to go where he can body me and, and, and detract me from getting that ball, what I want to do is I want to keep my hands free, use his leverage against him. Again, one Short, hard step. All you need is a window to get the ball. So what I want to do is step, push, and now I'm running off the weak side, and I'm squaring up and getting right into my jump shot. If we get separation, that gives the big man an opportunity to get a good screen on him going that way. So I'd hard step, swim, and now I'm running, and then I catch, and I get into my shot. All right, here we go. He's high side, he's high side, push, knock it down. Good timing, good rhythm, good shot. Here we go, Ant, you're up. Here we go, hard step, gets clearance, get around the screen, get into a shot. Good job, let's go on this side now, let's go the other direction now. Same thing. All right, Anthony's high side, screen coming, it's not there, he audibles out of it. Come around, catch it, shoot it. Good, Ant. Here we go, hard step, fake, running off, catch, shot. 